Well, what a difference a day makes. The air right now is much easier to breathe, but there are some lingering air quality concerns for the day. Jen Carabé was at the Art Museum with the latest. The air is significantly clearer out here in the city of Philadelphia today. That thick haze we saw in the sky over the last couple of days, gone. That's a look at the Ben Franklin Parkway. Remember, it was hard to make out, and the skyline was completely covered by smoke. Today, we can see City Hall and those skyscrapers, so clearly, progress is being made. But people are still taking precautions, including this happening today. There will not be in person classes for Philadelphia public school students. They will be learning virtually. Exactly how that will happen, though, is still unclear. Parents are flooding social media saying teachers have already collected their kids' computers. Meantime, all outdoor parks and rec programs are being canceled or moved indoors. This all comes as the city continues to deal with this air quality alert. The past two days reaching hazardous levels for everyone. Health officials are recommending people mask up while unhealthy conditions persist. Fortunately, though, Philadelphia's health commissioner says there has not been a significant increase in emergency department visits. It seems people are taking precautions, many of them limiting their time outdoors. It's, it's been tough, and uh, you know, luckily for me, I have my health, and it hasn't really affected me all that much. But I could see that it's certainly affecting many people around here. So far, I'm okay, but it's still a little fearful because you don't know, you know, if something like that gets in your lungs. You know what's going to happen. But not everyone has been so lucky. In fact, many urgent care facilities outside the city are seeing more people with issues related to smoky scenes. However, as we mentioned, those conditions are easing. In fact, the streets department will be back out today after trash and recycling collections were delayed by all of the smoke yesterday. But again, you can see and smell the difference out here in the city of Philadelphia today. However, if you are still concerned, the city's health department will be giving away KN95 masks like this one for free at five different locations throughout the city. We have a list of those locations at cbsphiladelphia.com. Outside the Art Museum, Jan Carabello for CBS News Philadelphia.